What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mario, Home Slice 794. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually render the fastest, the easiest, the quickest, with the best quality um, for your gaming videos, your YouTube videos. Man, this is going to be for YouTube, all right, using Sony Vegas. Um, so basically, let's just go ahead, let's hop on in it, let's get started. Um, so this is going to save you the most space, you're going to get the best compression here. You're also going to get the best quality um, with YouTube as well. So the first thing that we're wanting going to do is add the video to your file there, to your, your, uh, your Sony Vegas. You're just going to want to drag it, drop it in there. This one's just a little sample clip just to use for the video. Um, once you get started, you drop it in there. The first thing you want to do is just click into the video, right click, hop down to properties, click on there and just make sure you disable the resample. If you don't, you're going to get an ugly ghosting effect and nobody wants that. Okay. Um, once you do that, make sure, you know, double check, make sure it's disabled. You're good to go next. What I need you to do is uh, hop on over to the project video properties. Um, now that's going to hop on right over there. Click on that and then it's going to load your video. Um, something that I like to make sure everybody does is come down here under adjust source media to better match project or render settings. So this is basically if you have that checked, it's going to it's going to mimic exactly what the video actually is so if it's 30 frames a second it would be 30 frames if it was 60 frames a second it's going to be 60 frames i try not to mess too much with the original quality of the video just to make sure everything's smooth everything is just accurate color accuracy things like that so i don't do much here i leave the project to what the actual video really is um, so make sure that's ticked. Adjust source media to better match project or render settings. That's important there, guys. So hit OK. Once you have that, um, say you do all your magic, you do your edits, you do your voiceovers, everything's good to go. You double click on the video there. Make sure your, uh, your yellow triangle is there covering your whole video. Now here's the important part, guys, the settings. Let's go ahead and get to it. So file render as now I already have my settings here so the main thing that I'm going to need you to do is you have all these presets here the one that uh, that has the best settings and guys I've done it I've done the testing no need for you guys to do it it's going to be under Sony AVC MVC um, you know dot mp4 is what you're looking for and then you once you hit the drop down you're going to get all these different types of uh you know start off points there i'm telling you only thing you need to do is here if it's internet 1920 by 1080p um if it's 60 frames a second click the 60 frames if it's 30 frames a second click the 30 frames i tend to only deal with 60 frames a second now once you click on 60 frames hit customize template got it and this is going to probably be the easiest thing you need to do guys leave everything the same don't touch it if it's 60 frames leave the frame rate at 59940 now the only thing you got to do here is under bit rate all right i've already tested all these already guys um 25999 that one is uh it's not going to make a huge difference but i've noticed between you see a difference between 15 thou or 15 comma zero 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 and 25 comma nine 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 the sweet spot is change that 15 to 18 this is going to get you the quickest render time it's also going to give you good quality um great quality actually for youtube videos for 60 frames a second because you don't want to do them too high because youtube's also going to encode the video as well when you upload it so there's no need to go up to 25 uh the highest one because it's going to be rendered again once you upload it so the 18 uh 000 comma 000 is going to be the best for you encode mode automatic 
leave that alone and everything else leave it as i have it here um, audio leave it check gpu doesn't matter because you have automatic on and leave that there under project the same as well go ahead and save it i already have mine saved here as time is money see as you can tell here um, that's my setting that i use every time if you look at all my videos you can check them out there that is what I use and if you like the quality of my videos that is why all my gaming videos you check out that's what I use they upload really quick the file size isn't too big and I'll even leave a little test video at the end afterwards just so you can see the differences between quality you won't even be able to tell the difference between the highest one and the 18 uh, thousand one that we're going to be using here um, try it out tell me how you like it um, I'm sure you'll love it. It's going to save you a lot of time. You don't have to render at those super high bit rates and take forever. So this is going to save you time, save you money, because um, time is money, guys. You know that. Just a quick little video to help you all out, guys. So I'm going to do three quick test videos of the bit rates that I used. So you can kind of see for yourself. This one's the lowest one. It rendered really fast with the quality. You can see some pixelizations in the background. Um, so yeah, this one's not a winner here. The next one we have the 18,000 or 1800,000. No pixelization renders fast. This is the one you want to go with. This is the time is money winner. And this isn't maxed out. I mean, with the YouTube encoding, you can't tell the difference. Um, so don't go with this one. It takes too long. Love you. Bye.